Hi guys, thanks for joining me again today. It's Mitch from Smart PE, and today I'm going to be looking at a smarter way to interpret a heart rate graph. Now in particular, we are going to be looking at an interval training session, and even more detailed than that, it's actually a HIT session, which stands for a high intensity interval training session. Now, as we should know, a HIT session includes alternating periods of short intense anaerobic exercise with less intense recovery periods. Now let's quickly break down this graph for you. On the y-axis, which goes top to bottom, we have heart rate measured in beats per minute. And on the x-axis, which goes from left to right, we have time. Now, as I've mentioned previously, a resting heart rate will be around 60 to 80 beats per minute. So this first point on the graph is what we would assume would be the anticipatory rise. Now, hopefully you've seen another video which explains this, but if not, I'll quickly recap it now. So this happens just before exercise and it happens as a result of a hormone called adrenaline being released into the body. And the main purpose of this is to increase heart rate and blood pressure, which increases oxygen delivery to work in muscles. This next point on the graph is when exercise starts. Now we can identify that exercise has started here because there is a quite a steep line on our graph. So here, heart rate increases quite rapidly to supply blood containing oxygen to working muscles for energy. Now, as we know, a HIT session involves a period of high intense work followed by a period of less intense recovery. And this graph would be characteristic of what we would, what we would expect to see. So here we have a period of intense work as again the heart rate rises quite rapidly just like it did at the start of exercise so here the heart is having to increase how many beats per minute in order to supply muscles with the oxygen that they need for energy what we then notice after one of these intense work periods is quite a rapid decrease in heart rate so this would be the less intense recovery period it might involve a walk, let's say, for example. So here we would see gradually heart rate decreasing as the demand for oxygen decreases. Now, as we know, a hit session, alternating periods. So we go intense work, bit of recovery, intense work, recovery, intense work, recovery. And what you see on a graph is these peaks and troughs, the bits that go up and the bits that go down, which will really show that somebody has built into their training those work and recovery periods now within this graph there is no cool down but hopefully from watching the other videos you will now know what you would expect to see scan another qr code to find out more about interpreting heart rate graph